Yo guys, so yeah, we're at Gold's Gym Venice. Um, the plan is to hit some back. Um, maybe, I don't know if I'm gonna hit back out here or in there. It's exciting. It's a whole, it's like a playground. It's like a whole playground. I mean, there's there's all types of fucking, don't mess with the Zohan shit going on over there. Dumbbells there. There's some cool, old, these are like fucking sick old ones. Uh, back cable related machines out here. Um, I mean, even that, are they Cybex? Even the lap pull down is Cybex, that looks fun. We might start a lap pull down to get my back home. In fact, I think we'll start there now, let's do that. This gym has got a, it's got a good feel about it. I've heard I've heard good and bad things about this place, but I think so far it feels good. It's good energy, I like it. Should you stretch before doing a back day? No. Yeah, it's no. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, don't hurt me, sorry. Machines outside, and I know it doesn't rain here a lot, but you know, considering it's outside, bro, I can't believe how smooth that is. Cybex cables, crazy. What are the odds? What are the odds that we can have a car 150? <laughs> what do you think? High odds. <laughs> do you believe me? We're going, I, I believe in you. I think we're gonna you have more faith in me than I do. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's what it takes. Last week we hammer called 225 in each hand. How easy was it? <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> it wasn't. That's well, what, I mean, is, you know, it's only 110 pounds more. It depends. Like, I suppose a lot of the time when I do stuff like that, I'm pre fatigued. So maybe if I don't fatigue too much and just go and do it, just get my arms warm. And Hit it right away. It. My main concern is that as I swing it up, my arms are going to snap. But don't forget, I'm arm wrestling with Larry on Sunday. Me and Larry Wills arm wrestling Sunday. So I'm off, mate. See you soon. All right, mate. Who was that? Just a friend. You've made a new friend. Oh, a friend? Since when have you had other friends? Oh, friend. Right now, I need to keep the arms safe. Grips were big as well, right? Uh, they were like, they were the, the they're probably like 1.5 times the normal grip. Yeah. Like not too much but bigger. I'm used to holding things that thick normally, you know what I mean? <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> and obviously, years of a certain form of content have got me these, you know? So, obviously I should be good. Larry, watch out. Please be my friend. Oh, friend. Zero preparation. That's, bro, that's so smooth. I almost want to give you. I want you to try. Okay. Go. Just, just give it one pull. I know you're not. You know. Just tell me that's not smooth. Bro, that's weird. How smooth is that? That's Smoother than most LA That's fitness. exactly. And it's outside, which is bizarre that's, to me. That's actually fucking wild. But my mind's <laughs> telling me no, but my body, like, my body's telling me yes. If you were me, and by you I mean those of you watching, you would go, hmm, he's meant to be arm wrestling with Larry Wills on Sunday. Oh, my friend. And whoever else is there. I, I mean, there could be some absolute demons there. Who knows yet? So I should probably keep my arms as fresh as I can. And then, for some reason, I've driven to Venice, to Gold's Gym, to try and hammer curl 330 pounds in each hand. So where's the logic? So at what point do I go, this was a bad idea? I'll tell you when, I'll know, I'll know exactly when it was a bad idea, once I've done it. <laughs> okay, that was a bad idea. That's when we'll know. But why did I do that? A fucking wasp? Nah, that's enough for me to run. You've never seen a wasp? Yeah, I see plenty of them, I hate them. <laughs> Fuck wasps. Actually, I think what you said about hammer curling on some of the lighter weights first. Yeah, let's warm up. Because when I hammer curl 225 or the 100 kilos, whatever, my left wrist, so before I flew out here, for about three days, I was like, fuck. I was like, my wrist is fucked. Luckily, when I benched with Larry, no pain. But I could flare it up again. And if I flare it up, it could fuck up arm wrestling. So. Even though that's the plan, things don't always go to plan, we'll see. What do the dumbbells go up to? Uh, there's 145s right there. Yeah, so where are the actual dumbbells? Those, right there. No, I mean not the proper ones, the ones for grown-ups. What? You know the ones for grown-ups? Like for adults. <laughs> well, they must be for children. I'm just... Ooh, 
You're hard, showing off. The biggest tell for me off the start is my left wrist, I can feel it straight away. Which is a concern, but if I wrap my wrists, if I wrap my wrists, I love where my hands go numb. And I won't even know it's there. And then the damage we felt afterwards. Now that I'm living this sort of whole like more of an influencer style life, my head is always like, yo, content, content, content. But at the same time, like, what I need to remember is like, my body is now my job. So the longevity of my joints and my muscles should be the most important thing because I need to be able to train and to put out content all the time. So should I do this? Definitely not. Do it, pussy. to the risk because it's been a bit of a pussy. You better grow the fuck up right now. I started hearing voices. Dude, why are we doing this? I know it's my idea, but why are we doing this? In my head, the gold, the dumbbells, I like the, the prize. But, oh. You could row those easy probably, right? Yeah. But, look, <laughs> look, the aim is to be different, right? I've seen loads of people row them. I haven't seen nobody try and hammer them. You know why? Because they go, that's impossible. In my head, I go, <laughs> we'll see. That's the running theme of today's video. What you'll notice is that no matter how much I know something's fucking dumb, that overriding part of my brain still goes, I'm gonna do it. So 140's next. If there's, and to be honest, after the 140s, we'll go outside and we'll jump straight to 200. And then from the 200s, it's those bad boys. I'm looking at, I'm mean bugging them right now, like, you know, you're bad because you're fucking gold, is that what you You're bad because you're fucking gold, huh? Bitch, when I bring my bag places, it's trying to find my shit, it's fucking impossible, bro. I've always said this, a, a dude's gym bag is like a girl's purse. I'd argue it's worse. Yeah, it's worse. I think it's worse. It's worse. I'll be having like 10 day old water bottles in there. All of a sudden, Shout out one will break. Shout then... out Joe, back in the UK. That dude, I have never seen a bag like that in my life, ever. This bag, insane. Insane, bro. The bag is just bottles. Like month, month, month old bottles just sitting there. There's a lot of heritage on the walls. It reminds me of um, a gym, maybe the Dino's. You guys that are on the channel will have seen it already, but it's where we train chest a lot. Dino's, man, it's so much heritage, such a good gym. Such a good gym. This reminds me of it a little. So free weights, 200 pound dumbbells. Where? Aha! Oh. I think that one's 200. Down there. Down there. Oh wait, underneath? Yeah. I mean, this gym's busy. Like, which makes sense, because it obviously it's a fucking very well established gym. But it's mad, you got a crazy like, you got a crazy different user base. like. You can tell like people like fucking huge bodybuilders, fucking aesthetics people, some big dudes in here, some strong dudes, cardio bunnies, you name it man. Crazy clientele, big, big, big like a big mix, which is cool though. It's good to have a gym like that. I wonder what the biggest bench is in this gym. I wonder if he's standing in front of you right now. <laughs> me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's you never mind. Yeah, it's me. I, mean, I don't know. There's got to have been some huge bench presses in here. Well, here. Ronnie was here too. What was Ronnie's max bench though? I don't think it was over five. And you just no. I think I think he could bench over five. Could he? Well, you yeah. just inclined over five yesterday. Yeah. That's so, fun. And that's incline. That was fun. Sure, I tried to tell you this. I was like, "You're good. Trust me. You're going to be fine." You did look fucked though. Yeah, I For tried these fucking smelling salts yesterday. Worst experience of my life. I mean. Bit dramatic. I'm, gonna, oh. I'm panicking. Yeah, don't panic. No, I am because I'm gonna lose my job. You don't want to. Even get... Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> to 
long. They're so long, it's hard. It's so annoying because if they were more compact, so that if you guys have seen the video that I posted, um, I did it with 225 pound dumbbells, but because they're more compact, it's so much easier. Hello, <laughs> we meet again. So we did the 200s. The problem with the 200s is they're so long, that they're difficult to fucking like, actually get some movement on. Like, and that's like one thing that you'll find with like, I suppose, this is this applies to the same way when you think that you know when like your family go oh well you go to the gym so you must be able to move this fucking washing machine really well <laughs> no that's not how it works there's no okay. handles on that bitch. because the way the way the weight works is when it's distributed correctly for example like on a barbell or on a dumbbell when it is more compact it's much easier to move <clears throat> so when you've got a super long dumbbell it's fucking really difficult to find stability with it. but these bad boys Look at them, man. Look at them. So these are 330 pounds. 330? Now, if you ask me, I'd say that's adorable. No, I'm joking. <laughs> that's serious. I mean, I curl these things all day. Yeah, I mean, you're different, though. Yeah, I'm, di I'm, just, I'm built different. You're different. What I want to know is... A little bit is, stronger than you. you I know? suppose that the reality to, to, to my attempt here will be whether or not... So when I pick them up, I'll know straight away whether it's even possible. You know? But if it's not possible, are you look, still gonna look, try? The first thing you should know about me is I'm 10% brains, 90% ego. Yeah? <laughs> so, I'm like, yeah, I can do that. And then, the actual realistic part of my brain goes, sure you can, big boy, okay. Yeah, sure you can. <laughs> we'll see. Just start with a promise and a pick on it. See how it feels. I don't really wanna I don't want to do it with fucking wraps, straps, but at the same time, I'm thick. So uh, to get in here, fuck it, fuck it. I just want to see how it feels more than anything. Let me just see how it feels. Maybe. Think so? It, it might be doable. Got it. That ego part of my brain was going, yeah, you can do that. <laughs> And then the other part of my brain is going, <laughs> no, you fucking can't. This is such a bad idea. This is such a bad idea. I've done all that talking and I'm like, <laughs> this ain't happening, bro. But I think I can't. Should I try it on one arm? That's where I'm at. Should I try No, like, I'm still going to hold both. Yeah, hold both, but do one. But do one. I would only do one. That, your, left, your left wrist is fucked, right? But my left arm is my strongest arm. Me not pussy, yeah? But also, <laughs> wrist is pussy. So... Fuck, bro. I, I don't like. Is it doable, or is it a fucking death wish? Is it a death wish? A little bit of both. I mean, picking both at the same time that's six hundred and sixty pounds straight away. Still heavy. That's three hundred kilos. Still fucking heavy. That's fucking mental. But at the same time, then trying to put them back. I'm gonna move that out of the way, just in case it, I drop them. Oh yeah, I'm not standing close to you. Hell no. Oh, it's okay. I'll, I guess just I'll die then, yeah? Okay, it's cool. Drop one on my damn foot. I won't even be able to get it off. No, don't no, worry. No. <laughs> Bad idea, 402 <laughs> with me. Oh, uh, I'm a hammer cold. I'm gonna try and hammer cold. Oh, oh shit, okay. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the guy that picked them up without wraps. Yeah. That's why I'm like, don't. Oh, he's curling them bitches. I can't work out if it's doable. Like, but like once I'm straight and once I'm stable, possibly. But I think the problem is the burnout that you're going to feel from there to there to set up Hard. is already going to be enough where you can't even do it. It's like the CNS fatigue. See, I do. I, what the most that I've done with is two two five in each arm. So we've done two two five hammers. Yeah, but how did two two five feel? On the, on the dumbbells that I used, good. Same time though, like they aren't set like this. I don't know. Mm. This is serious weight. It's big weight. Fucking terrifying, my friend. You know what I want to see the most, the more I think of it? You think there's, there's, there's someone on the planet that can press these? I think you could press these. Now, in like know, two years, because be you're natural. Right. You're natural right now. I, am I think when you go enhanced, sooner or later, if you do, <laughs> when you do. I love that. You're like, yeah. Once he hops on, he'll just be able to press the golds. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not how it works. There's no way. There's no fucking white lug. I think, I think Julius might be able to do them for a rep. 
think so. I think Jesus Balance could possibly, maybe, with huge risk, because obviously trying to press dumbbells that big, the risk Shoulders. of a fucking injury would be insane. But I think he could probably hit them for a rep. I'll tell you this much though, I can't. I definitely can't. I understand being realistic, there's no way I can hammer go yeah. But the Bennett, the good thing is we came here saying, yes I can. That's what's great about it. <laughs> like I've been humbled now. And then you saw Welcome, welcome to the graveyard, Jim Reaper. That's me. I'm in my own graveyard. Reality is, and this is where sometimes I have to just be a bit smarter with my with everything, I guess, is I really want to try it. I really want to try it. And it could be an incredible video. It could be an incredible clip. I could hit a shitty, really shitty, cheap rep and it might do fucking 4 million views on TikTok, who knows. But the point is, at the same time, it's very difficult. I mean, the way my wrist feels and the realist, the reality of my brain going the future and arm wrestling on Sunday and then getting home and being able to train the bench, it's a bad idea. So I'm going to give it a miss. <laughs> yeah. um, they're ridiculous. They're fucking ridiculous. And I actually, that's my challenge to the internet. I challenge someone to come in here and try and hammer curl these things because they are fucking ridiculous. Now, and honestly, like, I guess doing 225 last week gave me some false confidence. <laughs> yeah, I know these are 105 pounds heavier each, which is insane. But who do I think I am? Why did I think I'd just walk in here and see, this is my problem, I'm 90% ego. I'm like, yeah, I'll do that. I'm the gym reaper, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, you won't, <laughs> you mere morsel. Just picking it up on one arm is a fucking challenge, like a real challenge. And uh, you know what's weird is, I've done farmer's walks, like strongman farmer's walks, and like yokes and, you know, shit like that. And they've never, they've never felt that heavy, which is mad. I've done like, I've done 300 kilo farmer walk like 150 in each hand and felt good and walked a distance. Just picking those up was fucking wild. Love you guys. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment um, and I'll catch you in the next one.